This is a Pokepress special report. Okay, uh, welcome to GeekCon. This is our fifth year of running the convention, and we're going to start our tour of GeekCon this year at the LAN room. Uh, not much going on right here because it's early in the morning. If anyone knows anything about LAN, it's a more of a late night type of event. Um, but we still got a few people here doing their active gaming. Uh, we can take a tour throughout the rest of the hotel and visit some of the other interesting things going on today. For our second stop here, we have a dual-use room. It's actually being used today for both Conquest, an original GeekCon invention, where people get to provide a uh, interesting gaming experience by participating in a number of different games, and also Steam Sentry on the other side, where attendees get to participate in an interesting steampunk-based mystery game. Completely interactive, almost like a LARP, but not quite. It's a lot of fun for everyone involved, and this year, unlike previous years where we've had it, it's completely free. Tomorrow, both those events will be gone, and instead we'll have the uh, tea time travel tea parties going on, which is another event that we run uh, since last year, and hopefully a couple of years in the future at least. Now, here we have the atrium area. It's uh, pretty active, as you can see. That's where the majority of people tend to congregate. We have a photo booth set up um, and tables for concessions, uh, also people just to uh, sit at when they're not doing anything else. Everyone needs a break once in a while, so. Down this hall is where we have our three viewing rooms. Uh, obviously, they're very dark right now because they're viewing rooms and they're supposed to be that way. But there's some very interesting shows going on there throughout the weekend. We had some interesting special viewings, including uh, Back to the Future, Tron, and Tron Legacy. Here we have tabletop viewing, one of our uh, bigger, more popular room gaming rooms. Uh, it's 5,000 square feet, one of the largest in the region. And uh, like you can see, very active. Uh, tons of games for people to play at all times, as you can see. Always some sort of demos or free play options available. Over here we have the silent auction. Uh, all the proceeds from the auction are going towards benefiting the Henry Vilas Zoo, which is our charity for this year. So in this room people can uh, bid on different items for the charity. And if anything gets to a significant amount of bids, then it goes into uh, then it goes into the auction uh, that's on Sunday. Now here, and of course on the other side as well, there are several different viewing rooms. We have at the convention, there's five total this year uh, for panels actually, panel rooms. Uh, you can see some of them are going on right now. This looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh panel. Here we have our secondary atrium area. Uh, we have another photo booth that's happening here, and we also have uh, the BBC America prize-winning TARDIS that was uh, loaned to us by a very, uh, very nice guy that uh, won the contest a couple months ago. Here we have registration. Uh, kind of the key part, because that's how you always get into the convention is go through the registration line. This year we changed to having everything printed off, so instead of having to write anything on your badges, you just get it printed, which is a lot nicer. And here's, of course, the boffer room, if you couldn't tell. Uh, foam sword fighting is something that we had since our first year, but the last two years we didn't have it, and we decided to bring it back for our fifth. Down here is where we have main programming, the vendor artist room, and video gaming, the three largest rooms in the convention. First here is the main programming room, which it looks like it's in between sets right now. It looks like uh, they're setting up for the I Fight Dragons concert, or uh, panel, actually. We also have Ambassador Alley here, so other conventions and groups that are uh, around can uh, also promote themselves. And of course, here's the uh, artists and vendors area. Artists are located on one half of the room, the other half is vendors. Obviously, there's a lot to choose from in this uh, room. You can pretty much find any sort of geeky interest you can uh, for sale here. And now at the end here we have our final room, the video game room. It's uh, in large part a pride and joy of a lot of the convention staff. It's the largest video game room of any convention in the region. Uh, it's 10,000 square feet and I think you'll agree it's a pretty impressive sight to behold.
Yep, well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, we think we don't win over pretty much everything that we have to offer here. Uh, obviously, this is just a snapshot, though. There's always different events going on at any given time. Uh, in a couple hours, we'll have the Masquerade, which is usually our biggest event of the weekend, where all the people that you saw probably in the hallways with all these great costumes will participate in and actually compete with each other to uh, win prize. So, yeah, there's always stuff to do here. Uh, it's always active. There's always different events, and you can always find something that you're interested in. This has been a Poke Press special report.